How's it going everybody? I uh, found a really exciting product, a radar detector for under $50 that actually does work. Uh, but before we get into this video, I just want to give a shout out to me and mine TV and his Philadelphia Eagles for winning the Super Bowl. Uh, that's where I'm wearing my Cowboys hat. I can't, I can't go true Eagles, right? But uh, so the shout outs to him and uh, I'm going to put a copy there in the description, a link to his channel. Those wanting to go check him out, he does a lot of track days. He's got a SS1 LE. It's a beautiful car. But uh, anyways, without hesitation, let's get this started. How's it going, everybody? James, online car show. Uh, Got an exciting video for y'all today I've been working on, honestly, for about two months. Uh, and I'm finally gonna give y'all the uh, radar detector review from uh, Cobra. It's the Cobra I-950. It's a $40 radar detector. Uh, and if you want the hardwire kit, uh, which you can see in the video, I'm not currently running because me and the wife split it. Uh, but the hardwire kit is $7.99 on top of that. So it falls in that range of, uh, no clue what this lady's doing. But it falls in that range of uh, mods under $50. Uh, and honestly, when I first plugged it in, I kind of had a mixed review on uh, if it worked or not because I kept getting a ton of alerts. And once I learned uh, basically how to program it, get it to you know, not be so crazy on uh, picking up every laser it finds, uh, actually, it's pretty decent little uh, radar detector and works it saved me from two traps so far uh, and just back up the history on it I have driven the car uh, three three trips Houston to San Antonio twice and once to Fort Worth and back uh, and I'm probably putting about 100 150 miles around town uh, utilizing the radar detector uh, seems to work really good uh, I do get a lot of false alarms, but in any radar detector, even the three or $400 ones I've seen, or even more, uh, you're going to get those false alarms just from, you know, grocery store, automatic doors to whatever. Uh, there's so many lasers traveling around and stuff that it just sets them off with the same bands and frequencies. Um, now, what you're not going to get for $40, you will get with the three or $400 ones is going to be the uh, stealth function to where they aren't going to know. Uh, some of them have a stealth function to where the police will not uh, pick up that you have a radar detector. Evidently, police now have a way of uh, tagging the car and knowing just from tagging it if it has a radar detector on uh, some of the highway patrolmen and so forth have. Uh, so there's some of the new radar detectors that do run a stealth technology. Now this does not have that. I wouldn't expect it to. Uh, and there's also a uh, uh, some technology out there for jamming, which I believe is actually illegal in some states, if not all of them. Uh, I'm not sure on that. I may be totally wrong on that, so don't quote me. Uh, so don't hit me in comments too bad about that if I'm wrong. But I know when they first came out, they were illegal. Now that may have changed. Uh, you can hear it going off now. Uh, but there actually is a placement at the center across the street but as you can hear in the radio right uh, in the video it does make an audible beep uh, it's got a volume control and a mute button only downside of the mute button I have learned is it only operates per uh, alarm so if you take one block and you mute it and you go another block and there's another policeman or a false alarm whatever uh, it is going to make an audible beep again. So the mute button isn't permanent, which is kind of an annoyance. Uh, it should be, in my opinion. See, I just muted it. It's going off again. Speak of the devil. But uh, but you do have a volume control. So you can actually turn it all the way down, and it will still give you a light on the front when uh, it does pick up a, an alarm. Uh, now... The other upside there, you know, I've given you two cons so far. It doesn't have stealth, it doesn't have, or 
doesn't have stealth and it doesn't have jamming ability that uh, some of the high-end radar detectors will carry. Uh, what it does do, and it may be actually better than some of the uh, non-Cobra high-end uh, that aren't on a network, is it gets on a network with other radar detectors. And so I can see basically other alarms and, and so forth that other detectors have picked up. And those detectors may be the three or $400 ones. Uh, so you're you're going to be on the same network as, as a bunch of other people that are using the Cobra equipment, uh, and it may connect even more machines to Cobra. I'm not sure on that, but uh, so it it'll post you things like you'll see on the maps, which I'm going to show on the software. You'll see things like uh, you're going to see things like uh, you know uh, radar blips and stuff where other units have picked up. Uh, you know, uh, some type of laser, whether it was a police or a false alarm, who knows, but, uh, but you can also tag them as real and fake. So if that person tagged as real or fake, you'll know. And I've come across radar traps. I mean, there's just like 20 blips on the map. You know that there's a, there's probably two or three police officers with a trap there. Uh, so, I mean, with all this said, you uh, you know, you're gonna get the ability to mark false alarms, real alarms, be on the network with other people. Uh, it's also gonna tell you when you're in a high hazard area. Basically, there's been, uh, there's a medium and a high. Basically, they're gonna tell you whether the, uh, you know, there's a lot of radars in that area or so forth. It's gonna give you a warning on your phone that says uh, that, you know, you're entering a medium or high hazard area. You know, slow your speed or whatever the comment is on there. Uh, so it does, and now we're getting into more of the functions of it. It does integrate with the phone, and to get on the network with everybody else, it's got to access your phone's internet. So uh, you do have to have a cell phone connected with internet uh, of some type to get the full functionality of the radar. Now, if you don't have it connected with the phone, like I don't right now in the videos, you can hear it's still going on it's going to still track for radar on its own. But what it's not going to do is connect to the network with everybody else's radars and they're what they've seen on their maps. Um, so, you know, before I get too much into just babbling on, let's get into the software itself so y'all can see a little more of what I'm talking about. Uh, but I, I do, I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and say at the beginning of the video, not the end, for $40, this is one hell of a deal. Um, you know, Cobra didn't contact me. I bought this on my own, surfing the internet, looking for a, a more budgeted approach to radar detection. I haven't had a ticket in years, uh, and don't plan to, knock on wood. But, uh, you know, you do get a little crazy when there's nobody else around and you're in a sports car, you know, you know on a road, maybe out in the country or in Mexico, or whatever. And it's, it's nice to know <laughs> when you're being beeped or whatever. But, uh, so there you have it. You know, a lot of people don't even know if radar detectors really work because you're not being hit, you know. By the time you're getting the beep, sometimes it's when they're tagging you. So whether or not this works, who knows. If you integrate it with their phone, though, you're going to see everybody else's radar. So that will give you a heads up. Um, so I personally, I, I, I like it. I, I'll give it three thumbs up if I had them because uh, for $40, I mean, I'm getting radar detectors that compare to, you know, some of my friends' $300, $400 Cobras and Whistlers and whatever. Uh, but I'm not getting the added stealth and jamming. I'm, you know, let's be real about it. But for $40, it, you're getting way more than you pay for. I'm surprised. This is doing what others are doing in the, you know, $150 and $200 range. So I am really surprised about this. Uh, they do have three models. They had a little skinny model, an i900 and an i950. I went with the i950. It was a dollar more, I think, than the 900. I'm not even. I tried to read through. I don't see anything. It does actually different than the 900. So it may just be an updated model. I'm, I'm not sure on that at all. Um, but I couldn't find anything on their website or whatnot. So without hesitation, let's get into the video and. I'm going to show you all the box and uh, some of the wires and stuff you're going to get. And then we're going to get into the software itself. But uh, be sure to stay tuned at the end of this video. I am going to put in, there's a lot of stuff I've been working on. Uh, muscle Blues is coming up, some collabs, uh, mod videos, car shows. 
Uh, so stay tuned for the last couple minutes of the video. I'm going to uh, add some stuff on that. All right, everybody. Uh, here's the end. Well, can't really give you an unboxing because I've been using it for two months, but we've got the uh, iRadar by Cobra. Uh, you can see on the really nice packaging. Uh, I mean, this thing comes like a freaking iPhone. Uh, you've got the Atom, small size, big performance, uh, iPod, iPhone. You can see here it gives you a little teaser, I guess, of the software. Uh, you can see there the uh, Live Police works off the Aurora database, high performance detection platform, detects XKKA VG 2 laser, Refi provides 360 degree protection, uh, real time user reports with iRadar, Live Police, photo enforcement. Uh, this will also show you uh, if they've got. Uh, it intersections if it's photo enforced by the uh, you know where they send you a ticket in the mail kind of thing you'll also get a notification there uh, it's got a car finder so you know it keeps track of your car's last known location I've actually not used this yet but uh, I'm tempted to give it a try uh, and you, as you can see here here's an example of what the alerts look like uh, you're going to get an alert view. It's going to say, is this real? Is it fake? Uh, and you click on one or the other. Here's an example of what the map looks like. We'll get into the software here in a second. Uh, looks like it works with pretty much all the iPhone models. Uh, don't see anything about Android, but I would guess because that software is an Android that it does. Uh, but I don't see anything on here. So uh, those Android users, you might go out to their website and see if it works with your phone or if they have a different model. Um, there you have it, there really isn't much to show with the boxing there. Uh, it does come with two different mounts. Uh, this is the one I use in the wife's Jeep, her Grand Cherokee, uh, just suction cup, temporary mount. And then I've got one that glues to the windshield in the Camaro with a, uh, or not glue, but uh, tapes a heavy duty. This is like the uh, Velcro used in picture frames. Uh, very, uh, in, you know, industrial strength Velcro there. Works really good, just snap, it kind of snaps in. Uh, and this is a fully adjustable clip. You want to have it to where it's perpendicular to the road, or uh, parallel to the road, excuse me. When you mount this in the car, when you leave it in its final location, you don't want it up or down or anything like that. You want it, you want to run any kind of radar detector parallel uh, with the road. So uh, here you can see some of the functions on it. We've got the uh, power on, uh, plus or minus for volume. Uh, it lights up a little light here and it'll be, uh, I believe, red when your phone's not connected or blue when the, it is. Uh, you've got the mute button on top. That's pretty much it for buttons and functions on the actual unit here. Um, here's the front detector. It's got a power cable. It goes into the side right there. And this is the cable that comes with it. It's a uh, cigarette lighter style and it also gives you a USB port on top of the uh, cigarette lighter there. So good thinking there from Cobra. Uh, really like that. It lights up red when it gets power, so it has an indicator. Um, I also went ahead and purchased the hardware kit, which is going to go in the Camaro. Uh, and this is a uh, $7.99, I think is what it cost me. It comes with a fuse, uh, hardware to power supply. You want to wire this probably to a uh, power supply that only comes on when you have the ignition on. Uh, that way it's not running 24-7 or uh, when the car is parked, sorry. Uh, that's pretty much it is to parts. Uh, let's get into the software. All right, now to show you all the software. Now it isn't fully dependent on the software. Uh, I use it based, I guess, on uh, how far I'm traveling. Uh, if it's a longer trip, I'll go ahead and connect my phone and uh, whatnot to the, uh, to the radar detector. If it's just a trip around the block, I'll, uh, I'll just, uh, you know, leave it on radar detector only. Um, 
but here's uh, the initial here's the view I guess I'd like to leave it on which is the map view of course I'll have it using the little uh, just like any GPS you click the little uh, arrow in the corner and it'll go to your location and hover over you while you're driving uh, but you can see just want to show you an area with a bunch of stuff I guess going on you've got your uh, yeah, showing you traffic camera there that's what that indicator is and that's a verified here's some other traffic cameras uh, in this area there's a speed trap that's been identified uh, so as you can see I mean it takes a second as you hover over an area for stuff to come up and the more you zoom in the more stuff you also see is what I found actually pretty quiet around this area right now but there's stuff going wow but you can see when there's an area with a trap or something going on, I mean, it's just, it lights up. Uh, and when you drive into those areas, you'll get a little warning saying, hey, this is a medium risk or a high risk area, be warned. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and you also get reports. Uh, it's gonna tell you, uh, you know, what is it a caution area, photo enforcement, live police, etc. Here's all your settings in here. You can get directions. Uh, you keep it on highway or city mode. Uh, show your car battery. Here's your car finder. Uh, show music controls in the application if you want to leave this up, but also play music through your phone in your car, uh, which is nice there. Uh, that was the map function. Uh, it's currently disconnected. It shows you on here whether you're uh, connected or disconnected, which is really nice. Uh, and it connects through Bluetooth uh, to your phone. So uh, that part's pretty nice too. Uh, and we've got a dashboard. Uh, it shows you your current miles per hour, your car battery, uh, and you can easily switch between highway and city mode. And this controls the actual unit. So if you haven't noticed, but there aren't many buttons on the actual unit itself, all your settings and setting this up and how you want to do it is all on the phone with the app. So you have to connect to it at least to set up the, uh, the radar unit itself. But uh, once you set it up, if you just connect, it's, it's fun. So uh, you can switch between city and highway mode on the app. It'll control the actual unit. Then we've got uh, devices. This will show your paired devices, settings. This is gonna show all the settings on the actual unit. Uh, auto alert, phone, disable auto lock, alert sharing. Do you wanna share the alerts basically? Background activities, local notifications, audio alerts. Which alerts do you want? Uh, detector sensitivity, GPS settings, speed traps. I want that one on and uh, car finder all that's on unit of measurements what app version you're using uh, model number when it's connected will show up there uh, their store uh, don't know much about there but uh, there you have it. I mean, the, mainly the two functions I use, just to be honest, the dashboard, it'll show your miles per hour, which is really nice. Anybody that's got a different tire size, something like that, needs to know their exact miles per hour. This will give it right here in this area and give you a little uh, analog style gauge. Uh, plus, you can switch back and forth. If I'm just cruising around or whatever, don't need a map or not really caring about that, I might leave it on this mode. Uh, oh, there's also a compass. but. Uh, so you can switch back and forth between your city and highway. It shows your miles per hour. Uh, if I'm on a longer trip, I'll probably leave it on this mode and then uh, you know have it hovering over me so I can see anything coming up in the next couple miles or, or so forth. Uh, it, this also works like ways, from what I'm understanding, to where uh, you can enter a you know you need direction somewhere and it's going to give you the fastest possible route around uh, construction and traffic uh, so this also does update uh, this is at night in Houston so there any traffic but if there is traffic jams and so forth they'll also show up on here uh, so you can connect all that uh, which is really nice there I don't even know what this indicator is oh speed trap so uh, there's an example of what a speed trap would look like and uh, there you have it guys, I think this is, uh, you know, if you, if, 
if you're like me and you don't you don't end up spending three or four hundred, I'll keep telling myself I'm gonna get a radar detector, get a radar detector. Then you get you know three or four hundred dollars, and there's so many other things you know in life that are you know better spending that money on. So uh, if you're looking for the budgeted approach like I did, I mean forty bucks this covers you. Uh, you're gonna get uh, some pretty good functions here of some of the high end models uh, for a very low price. Uh, like I said, this does not have the stealth, the jammer, and I'm sure uh, a lot of people are going to nail it in uh, the comments, but, uh, you know, it's it, for the money, you can't argue with it. Um, All right, everybody, as you can see from the software and, uh, you know, the functionality of what you're getting, this is one hell of a deal. Uh, $40, I mean, 48 with the hardwire kit. I don't see where you can go wrong on this. Uh, already seen the video that it's already you know picked up just on its own a police officer in the corner just out of luck let me shoot the video here in Houston but um, so there you have it I mean uh, I think it's a great radar detector a must buy um, now to get into I guess what I've been what I have going on here we've got muscle palooza coming up March 3rd I've been reaching out to a bunch of youtubers trying to find something here in Houston to do uh, collaborations and work together on you know I've got, garage space to work on cars we've got car shows uh lots of content we can you know i could do with uh, another great youtube creator here in houston area doesn't have to be a camaro you know whatever car you're into let's get together and uh and work on some good content and also i've got the uh shirts uh, we will be putting an order at the end of february for shirts so make sure if you want one of the uh, online car show shirts with uh, that shit sounds badass on the back to uh, shoot me an email james at onlinecarshow.net uh, by the end of February and we'll get you lined up uh, so we've got Muscle Palooza, the shirts uh, also mod videos uh, I got contacted by a guy with a uh, company that, that does a ceramic coating uh, on cars it's out of China but uh, it is a new product he's trying to release he claims that you know it'll compete with anything out there and for about half the price of ceramic coating so I'm gonna put it to the test he's already sent me a bottle be you know uh, so be on the lookout for that video coming up make sure you subscribe if you're a first-time viewer and uh, also bought a bunch of uh, little mods and stuff so I'm gonna do another mods under $50 video uh, I've got four or five mods I want to add to the lineup so uh, be on the look for that that was a kind of a bigger video I did with a lot of views so uh, a lot of the stuff in there you know is cheap you can just pick up you know a spare change or whatnot from Amazon and uh, throw in the car it looks pretty good and I'm gonna try to do a view on them so you can see the quality and whatnot of some of the stuff but uh, there you have it I've also been uh, talking with Oracle on doing some headlights, uh, doing demonized DRLs, halo, and fog light package with three zones. Uh, I've been looking at some hoods, uh, haven't really decided anything on that, but uh, it's hard to get rid of the one LE hood. It's got to be something really nice. Uh, and I've also been looking at cam packages, headers, etc. for the future performance stuff I plan to add before the summer. But uh, some bunch of exciting stuff going on in the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And uh, thank you so much for watching my channel and all the support. I hope everyone has a great week. And I hope it's not as dreary where you are. It's just kind of nasty here in Houston this week. But uh, looking forward to spring. It's, it's almost here. Just got to hold out a little longer. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching.